Sell Like Crazy is a book in which Sabri Subi tells you how to get as many clients, customers and sales as you can possibly handle. The first few pages basically tell you everything I learned and read in any other business book I read this year, which is mindset, if you want to become a billionaire, think like a billionaire and so on. He even talks about the 80-20 rule, which at this point I have read the 10th time. One thing he was really good at was explaining that just because you're busy doesn't mean that you're actually productive and that you will make any money with the work that you do and how you can focus on what really matters and be productive to reach your goal. This awesome chapter is called Kill the Little Bitch Inside. Now next we learned that potential customers don't care about you, your service or your company, but just about themselves and how they can solve the problem that they want to solve. So you should only talk about that. And in the first few calls or in the first few places where you come into contact with the customer, not even mention the name of your company. Now then it's all about focusing on the larger market with this pyramid. 3% are in the buy now stage, 17% is in information gathering mode, 20% is problem aware and 60% is not problem aware. Now the large majority of all ads focus on the 3% which are in the buy now mode but as you can probably tell, the large portion of all prospects are in the 97 other percent. And how to address the 97 other percent is basically what you learn in the rest of the book. First we use the so-called halo strategy, which enables you to know your perfect customer. Then you learn with a lot of great examples how you create a high value content offer that you will give your potential client for free to build trust by offering them free value. Also you'll learn some very interesting facts about the history of the first HVCO, which is short for high value content offer. And your HVCO could be for example free content consultation, cheat sheets, checklists, videos, courses, ebooks, PDFs and more. Next you will learn in great detail to produce great titles that will force the people to click on your ad. Sometimes they are a bit or maybe not just a little bit clickbaity and I gotta be honest for me that would be a red flag and scare me off but I guess for the vast majority of people they click on it. Maybe it's just because I'm in this field you know that I'm aware of these techniques. But there are some great formulas you can use to create your perfect title that are not that scammy sounding but for me some of them are just too look at me and screaming and you know you can see on screen what I mean. Now then Subi walks you through every step of her sales funnel after they downloaded your HVCO where they gave you your contact details like the name and the email address. Don't ask for too much information because the more information you want from them the less likely they will be to enter all of it. They will just go back and not enter your sales funnel. So just ask for the name and the email address, that's enough for now. Then they will be redirected to your landing page where you offer them the so-called godfather offer, which is an offer that they can't turn down because it's just too good to be true. Now if the people are in the 3% which is the buy now stage, they will immediately buy your godfather offer, but if they are not in the 3% but in the 97 other percent, that's also not that bad because they now entered your sales funnel by giving you their contact details when they downloaded your free high value content offer. But unlike other email lists, we won't spam them with a hard sales pitch because they are still kind of cold even though they downloaded your HVCO. You will provide them with even more value in the form of free content and help that you sent them from day to day, which will get them thinking if it really helps them. Wow, if they are offering me all of this great content for free, I can't even imagine what their paid services will happen like. This is called the magic lantern technique. Then when you finally sell them what you want, which is especially if you're in the service industry, a call with you or a Zoom meeting or whatever, you have to sell them like a doctor. Which means you have to listen to their problems, letting them tell you all about it and only then prescribe them your help and don't give them their medicine before you even have their diagnosis. And then it's all about automating and multiplying all of the above. Now of course as always I just barely scratched the top of all of the great content that you will get in this book. I will leave a link to you down below where you can buy it on Amazon or even on the original website where sometimes it's completely free to buy it. You just have to pay for the shipping but the book's free, that's how I got it. But if it's not available for free right now, you can buy it on Amazon. And yeah, that's it from this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more videos just like this one. You can find the playlist with all of the books right here. You can find last month's book review right here and you can subscribe right here and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Goodbye.